Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Just wanted to post a real quick kind of follow-up video to my most recent video where I talked about Planet X or Nibiru or the binary system, whatever you want to call it. And since I put out that video, which I'll admit that I was a bit emotional and angry when I posted this video, and some of the things I've said, apparently, have rubbed a lot of people in the Planet X community, or those who believe in this theory, the wrong way. And I just want to clarify some things here, because apparently my video caused a lot of anger in the Planet X research community, and that was not my intention. My intention was simply to provide a response to the people who have been emailing me, many people, who have been emailing me fearing for their lives. Now, of course, not everybody who is studying Planet X uh, is fearing for their lives. However, there are a hell of a lot of people who are. And I know they are because I get multiple emails and messages and tweets from them every day. And they are watching some of these videos out there. And I'm not talking about videos from certain channels who actually have done a lot of research into this topic and do provide some interesting data alluding to the possibility of at least something near our solar system or out in space that may be causing some disturbances. I am talking about the videos that have been posted by people who are claiming that the world is about to end, who said that the world was going to end in April, who are now saying that it's going to end in July and September and October. I mean, it never ends. And of course the world is not going to end. And I feel very strongly that people should not be stressing over things that are not going to happen and that have not happened every single time someone said that they were. People who are not sleeping at night because of this. And in my previous video, I said it was bullshit. I was upset because I'm a very empathetic and sympathetic person. I will give you the shirt off my back if you ask me to. I will stop and help you change a tire if I see you stuck on the side of the road. And I also get emotional when I speak with people who are feeling bad or who are stressed out or scared. That's just the type of person I am. And this whole Nibiru Planet X topic has been going on since I began this channel and people were scared then. Now let me clarify, I am not dogging the Planet X research community. I'm not. I am not stating that there isn't a binary system or a rogue planet somewhere out there in space. In fact, the likelihood is that there are. However, what I am stating and what I stated in my previous video if I didn't say it clearly enough because I was emotional is that there is nothing wrong with researching this topic and it is not bullshit to research anything. And that is especially true coming from me, one of the many researchers who posts videos on one of the most taboo fringe topics you can possibly post videos about. So I am in no way acting like I'm the authority on Planet X or the community or am in some way trying to insult those who are believers. I'm not trying to insult anyone. I posted a video. I gave my opinion. I stated the facts about these doomsday scenarios and how they have never happened. And to the people who are emailing me scared to death who are about to move out to the mountains because they are watching these videos on YouTube telling them that the world is going to end in a month or two months or three months, then I'm going to speak on it because it gets to the point where I'm getting so many emails that I can't respond to them all. So research what you want. I'm not calling you an idiot. And I'm not saying that your 
passion for something is bullshit. So maybe I should have chosen different wording in that video. But I want you all to know, especially those who are believers in this theory and who are now hating on me over this video, that we are all on the same team. At least that's the way I see it. We are all fighting for truth. We are all trying to uncover and expose the wrongs and the injustices imposed on us by our governments. And as I said before, should evidence come out that the earth is about to be destroyed, thrown on its head by an object passing through, then I'll be the first one to stand up and say, yeah, something is coming, guys. But until then, I can only go with what I know and what I've seen. And when it comes to doomsday scenarios, I get a real bad taste in my mouth. Doomsday has been coming for us since before any of us were born. And these doomsday theories and prophecies will continue to come out by certain people, certain YouTubers, who simply want to fear monger. And if you watch me on this channel, you'll know that I'm not the type of person to target other people. I never say the names of other YouTube channels publicly that I don't agree with. I never target people, and I don't put up expose videos against people I disagree with because I think it's counterproductive. I'm entitled to my opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. Let's not argue about it. Let's not create more internet hate than there already is. We're all researching. We're all in this community together, regardless of what you believe. And as the believers in Planet X and the believers in this doomsday scenario are out there standing firm in their beliefs, I will do the same thing and stand firm in my belief that the world is not going to end next month just like it didn't end on any of the other months or years or decades or centuries. So take that to mean whatever you want it to mean. I simply wanted to put up this video to assure those who are subscribed to my channel, but who also may firmly believe Nibiru or Planet X's existence, that you do not need to hate on me or hate on the people who have differing opinions. I love starting dialogues on things, and I love to talk about things, but I will not argue with people. I will not engage in internet street fights. I will not post expose videos on other people. That's just not the way I work. I post videos, and I report on topics that are relevant to this research. And please believe me when I say that I sincerely was not trying to insult anyone and to the contrary, was simply attempting to bring clarity and relief to those who have emailed me and put their trust in me and relied on me to give them an answer to whether the world was about to end, and I believe I did so in my previous video. We all have a lot of real-world earthly problems that we are all dealing with, and the earth being destroyed in July or October is not one of them. There is no evidence of this. We have millions of amateur astronomers all over the world, and I guarantee you, if something were about to come near us, it would have been spotted, leaked out, and you would be seeing a firestorm over it long before now. So again, I'm not saying that these planets or these binary systems do not exist. I'm simply stating that the YouTube videos, that the claims that something is going to destroy us this year are without basis or merit. And that we can all agree and disagree on things, but there is no need for the hateful vitriol that has plagued the YouTube community for a long time now. I consider all of you my friends, my fans, and the very people who help this channel grow and provide their two cents. And I wanna keep that going. So to all of you out there, I love all of you guys. To the Planet X research community specifically, I love you guys, no harm or hate intended. And I just hope that you'll stick with us, you'll continue the search together with us, and we'll keep fighting the good fight. So 
Thanks for taking a minute to listen to me. I hope all of you have a good rest of your day, and be sure to stick around because new videos are on the way and will be up soon. So thanks for stopping by, stick around, and I'll see you back soon. Thank you.